welcome to the first episode of Homemade Comics Review. Now just in case you're not familiar with homemade comics or the term small press comics, they're simply comic books that people draw and make limited edition copies to sell or trade, usually on an office copier. To help promote these little comic books, I will be reviewing various titles, giving a short synopsis of the story, plus my take on the artwork and general presentation of the comic. I will, of course, be including contact information for the artist so you can obtain a copy for yourself. Just as a side note, because of the limited print runs of these comics, you will be receiving limited edition artworks. Ask the artist to sign your copy for you. The first comic that I'm going to be reviewing is The Steppenwolf Chronicles by Byron Black. His latest edition is a full color standard comic book size comic. It is 20 pages long and is entitled The Steppenwolf Chronicles in Search of Steppenwolf. And Byron writes, Welcome and thank you for your interest in the Steppenwolf Chronicles. Based on concepts dating back to the mid 80s, my creative brainchild was originally realized as a four-issue small press comic book series from 1995 to 1998, originally printed up in black and white, digest format on a copy machine, and circulated to a handful of readers hither and yon. This miniseries is archived at, for those curious, after a nearly two-decade hiatus, inspiration has compelled me to revive my labor of love in somewhat of a different vein, according to an evolving mindset. Here are the four original Steppenwolf Chronicles. There were two things that jumped out at me the first time that I opened one of the comics. Byron's artwork. I don't know what it was, but I just loved his style immediately. The second thing was his dialogue. The Imperator is magnanimous, yet I doubt our alliance. Am I a partner in the cause, or is Herzog using me to further his own ambitions? Zut! The control panel has overloaded. Considering my recent misadventure in the past, perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. There's a page in number three that depicts some of the characters that reoccur throughout the Steppenwolf Chronicles. Wielding an electroshock man-catcher, Salome collars Clark Albion. Steppenwolf's mechanical servitor, Necromachon, locks into a melee with the juggernaut Black Max. Under the cloak of invisibility, Steppenwolf eludes the man-beast Abraxas. The powerhouse known as Colonel Seth Ronkoff is repulsed by the electric force barrier. And here we have Byron Black's newest edition, In Search of Steppenwolf. Once again, an excellent story. My only minor comment, and it is based on my personal taste, is that the artwork has lost a little in going from a digest size book to a standard size full color comic. I always liked the numerous wrinkle lines in the clothes and the attention to detail in the backgrounds. However, I highly recommend purchase of this amazing comic, and if they are available, the four original black and white digest issues. You can contact Byron at That's it for the first episode, so be sure and comment and subscribe, and I will see you next time.